Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda Blind. I'm your host, Wasan Fay. So, over here to Vetra. We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City, Meridian. I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. I hope you're planning to share that. So I can wake up to the headlines, Pathfinder, Pathfinds Victory, laid low by Turian Brew. Not a party unless I'm passed out at the end. From your stomach literally exploding? Why don't I find something better suited to humans? Hopefully <laughs> we'll have something to celebrate soon. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Oh, Vetra, you're awesome. You are going to be one of the people I miss. In this game. Cora. Back again? Uh, okay. Kinda. Any more Commando War stories? I always liked Janae. She was only 200, and with me around, she wasn't the kid anymore. Mm -hmm. She was a biotic prodigy. I once saw her yank an AA gun right off its housing. Crushed a gang of slavers with it. Ouch. They didn't feel it for long. True. Janae was a good friend. Maybe she still is back there. Won't be a kid now, though. All right. Any more Commando War stories? Not just now. I'll try to remember a good one. Okay. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Uh, ready. And up the ladder. And hoping Gil's back here. And he's not. Dang it. I know, I know, I could look at the map. That would tell me all this. Ah. Liam? Tev Uni. A home in Vold. Sort of. Still feels good, though. Um, just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I've probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. All right, and... Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. Good for you. You have I'll plans. Talk later. I know it. Alright, Lexi? Right up. Okay, uh, I guess not. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Drac! It's not like being a created species really means anything. The Angara are the Angara. What matters in the end is that they exist. All right, do you have any more Got words? Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? All right. Tell me about the first time you fought someone. That'd be my first battle. It was during the Krogan Rebellions. I was just some snot-nosed brat back then, but my mother wanted me to get experience. At first, it was the best day of my life, and then my mother died on the battlefield. <sighs> oh dear. I'd like to hear more about your mother. She was one of the last great warlords of her generation. When my mother fell, we all did. 
All my people held on, sought revenge, but we splintered. Between that and the genophage, we changed. Not for the better. Is that why your clan came to Andromeda? A new start? A better future? We haven't had hope like that in a long time. But well, maybe here, with you, we'll find some. Mm. Anything else? Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Alright, uh... Tell me more about fighting Ket. Fiends, uh, kid. Even I'm not gonna mess with those at close range. Keep your distance. Shoot them into red fleshy bits, or I guess in the face if you can't flank them. Yep, all right, got that. Thank you. We can talk more later. Sure. Please survive the final fight. I'm not gonna have a deep fear about that. Okay. All right. Fine. Where did I miss him? Joel, Liam, Lexi, Suvi, Gallo, PB. Gil is in the huh? In the crew quarters. Not yet. Not yet. So are the Remnant intended to serve them? That's a great question. Too bad we don't have someone on the team who's an expert in solving Remnant mysteries. Yeah, Ryder ought to enlist someone like that right away. Hey. So let me get this straight. The Angara were created, like, in a lab by another species. A species way beyond our understanding. It seems likely they built everything in Helios for the Angara, then. Maybe their intentions were good. Unlike the Ket. <sighs> Not many things break my brain, but I got pieces all over the place thanks to this. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Um... Sam. Hello, Sarah. I have been contemplating our discoveries about the Angara at the Remnant City. Yeah. I know who created me, and I know my purpose. I have also experienced not knowing. The difference is immense. You're heading into some deep waters there, Sam. Whole lifetimes are spent asking about creation, its meaning, if it has one, and if there was a motivating force. Are you asking if there's a god? AI have concrete answers about why they exist. If I did not, I would look for them. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my service in Samnoad on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via okay. quantum entanglement yep. communication. All right. All right. I'm sure that'll come in handy. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. All right. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Can't get jokes from you anymore, either. Not that they were that great. Um... Okay. I can pet my pie jack now. Hi! You always look hungry. Alright. Up we go. Um, PB. Anything hey, else? Yeah. What's shaking? I guess not. Okay. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Uh. Callow? That's what the Salarian Ark was worth to our officers? Thousands of lives for maybe a future advantage against the kit? You're a better person than I, Ryder. 
I'd have toasted Adin in our thruster exhaust. But at least the dead and their families have some justice. Need anything else? Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. <laughs> Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. <gasps> Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense. Tion found a workaround. <laughs> what did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit, then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. Tell Quarians. me something else about the ship. It's a shame they're not the in glass this game. on board? It's actually a clear oxide and nanofiber compound. It bends rather than shattering. How tough is it? We're only an arm's length away from hard vacuum. Our testing involved three drunk Krogan with sledgehammers and a C-Sec battering ram. It's sturdy. Okay. I, I, I... Three drunk Krogan with sledgehammers. I think that's a little more impressive than the C-Sec battering ram, personally. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um... <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. Oh, no. Tell me something else about the ship. I'm all out of stories for now. Sorry. You'll have to make some new ones. Okay. Do you... What do you think of the rest of the crew? No. Oh. <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. All right. Solarians. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. And if Dr. Adam was being honest, we haven't learned a damn thing from our old mistakes. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Yep. Thanks, Kalu. All right. Sumi? Pathfinder. Huh? I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. It operated like a telescope and allowed them, and us, to survey Andromeda all the way from home. Alright, cool. That was nice to be reminded of. I should get back to things. Sounds good. But, wanted to talk one last time. Alright, no email. Okay, and just quick check. All I have left are additional tasks. Real car manifestos. Yeah, I don't really care. Uh, remnant devices. Don't really care. Uh, uh, other research stations. No idea. Um, haven't heard anything. Possibly that'll be after. Um, yep, yeah, don't really care about those. And this is the bugged one. All right, um, uh, of course it changed my, all right, so, shall we? Approximating remnant ship dynamics, Sam? Building predictive model. Between the remnant city Meridian and however the scourge fits in, pardon my Martian, but it's all weird as shite. <laughs> Seems busy up here. Did I get what we needed? You got us something, all right? The key to it all. In here. The mother of all navigational aids. Take that back to the Remnant City. Find an override, 
and their ships will fly the same vector as Meridian. With correction for the Scourge, you'll have its exact location. The heart of the Vault Network. We can do it. Okay, so I have to... Go back to the little floaty thing. Oh, there is one more system for me to explore. Not many other ships would venture out this far. It's our job to be first. Indeed. Anomaly detected. Yep. Probe away. Anomaly found. And... Deploying probe. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. Alright. Go over here. I'm glad they've actually made a lot of this easier compared to the original trilogy. All right. Less mouse clicking, more. Okay, yeah, I can do this from my keyboard. Okay. And. Yeah, the scourge tendril just right through that. The data collection probe is prepped whenever you're ready, Ryder. Yep. Okay, and one more. Anomaly detected. Oh, hey. I was wondering if we were going to get one in the system. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Of aluminum. Alright. Alright. Uh, where was Sivki? different. We're ready. Sam's marked a potential override for remnant ship control. A tower with its own energy grid. It may be one of the controls that deployed Meridian, and the means to find it again. Okay. Alright. Uh, uh, you may can... Okay. So, you may continue exploring Helios before or after the main story concludes, so. Yeah. Um. Upgrade. Yep. Please do. And... the other okay that adds weight
Yep. All right. I'm good, I think. All right, yep. Uh, who's with me? Joel should really be with me. God, I need track as a heavy hitter. <laughs> All right. I'm good. I'm a good. Everything looks right, Pathfinder. Find the override, apply that hardware, and the remnant will fly the same vector as Meridian. Okay. And all our work together will pay off. Ready? It's a lot to process, but we earned it. Then let's do this. Tempest, we're going in. Quiet so far, but something's different. Orbital scans identified a separate energy grid within the tower. So that means... Defenses here may not be on our side. Lovely. 145 meters to projected override controls. Through the door. Eyes open. Alright. So far. Remnant, and they don't look friendly. Understatement. Oh, no, no. Some vaults have been worse. Let's be close to the controls we need. Let's move. Okay. All right. One last remnant door. Controls are ahead. Projections suggest multiple launch bays and possible links to Meridian deployment. About time, if you ask me. It's right there. We just need to apply the override, and the remnant will show the way. Yay! Sam, everything ready? All relevant data is queued for uplink. Right. Let's find a path. You waited all game to say that. Remnant ships have lifted off. They're following the override vector. The Scourge is moving. But they're getting through to... something. Meridian, Pathfinder. That's Meridian? Looks strange. Can this be correct? The data says it's hollow. A self-contained seed world. It is the heart of the vault network. And when reactivated, every connected planet will be affected. It is the means to make Helios a home, Pathfinder. All our calculations have led to this. A transformative moment for the entire initiative. Congratulations, Pathfinder. Shit. Yep. Yeah. 
great day for us all. No. I believed you for the rival, but you are a false thing, a lie. Once I saw what made you special, your connection, I knew how and when to take it from you. Okay. I let you find Meridian, and now I'll use your Sam to weaponize it. All Helios will be exalted, or one by one, your worlds will die. Starting with Eos. All I need to start is an implant like yours. And thanks to your memories, I know who else has one. Another reason to take the Hyperion. Well, shit. Fall to darkness, Pathfinder. You are almost worthy. Get everyone to the med bay. Hold there. What the hell is happening? I have no idea. Hello, Scott. Sam? How are you? What's going on? All we know is we're being overrun. Cat forces are sweeping the ship. They're looking for you. Scott, the Pathfinder needs your help. This is crazy. She's closing on Meridian. The Archon has severed my link to your sister's implant. If basic function isn't manually restored, she will die. What? Scott, please, proceed to Depot K4 to secure a weapon. Oh, yay! Son of a... Info, Sam, I need something. The Archon isn't stealing the Hyperion. He wants you and me. Your implant is the same as the Pathfinder's. He'll use us to control Meridian, and your sister will die. The Archon will kill her? No, losing me will. What? Sam! Hostiles are ahead, Scott. Be ready. All right, which way am I going? I am sorry I can't help you fight. We're all dead. I took I over too much of your sister's implant, and losing me will kill her. So when the comms dropped, she did too? Hurry, Scott. Okay. Captain won't last. What are we doing? Manually send a reboot signal. It will reset your sister's implant. So, default settings? To restore the functions I shouldn't have taken. Okay, we're here. One pulse, Scott. That's all the Pathfinder needs. And it probably alerts the Archon. He'll know where I am. I am sorry. Me too, Sam. Me too. Oh, 
Open! Tempest, the Pathfinder is down! Come in! Ryder, you were dead. Again? The Hyperion's dark. Sam with it. We need to get back. Wait, no, no, no. That, that door is remnant. You need Sam. We need to get back. <sighs> Hang in there, Ryder. Just focus slow and steady. We need okay. to get back. Please? It's moving. Your vitals are a mess. You sure this is a good idea? Absolutely not. I can do this. You look hurt. Can you go on? To the Tempest. We have to move. God, really? Okay. Try it now. Pathfinder. Come on. We're here, Tempest. I got her. I got... Hey. Pathfinder. Kit took down the comms and hijacked the Hyperion. I know. The Archon's been planning since his flagship. He used me. The Pathfinder is going to need medical... help. Shite. Shite. Reports from everywhere. All remaining catch ships are on the move. It's all the Archon. If he takes Meridian, he'll destroy worlds. Starting with Eos. He thinks he's won. Pathfinder. It kind of feels like he has. Well, not giving up. Ryder, there you are. You need to stop doing this. Nice to see you too. News on the Ark? Get on the ship! Get to Meridian with a small flotilla. You got the last signal before the Archon locked it down. We're not letting that stand. Be ready to move. Wait, we need a plan. Stop ship. Kill Jerk. With what? He has Sam. He has ships. But I am still able to... do something. He's got the Hyperion. That's how many thousand hostages? How many worlds does he destroy if we don't move? And how many do we save if we get ourselves killed? Well, we have to do something, right? I know, but the Tempest is one ship and she isn't even armed. Bacon arms. You did an impossible thing. Can you keep that up? Have them fight for us? Let's hope so. Cat are tough, but Remnant hit hard. The promise of that could inspire others to join in, across the cluster. We have a for real shot at this. Rally the troops for a last stand. We're not throwing anyone's lives away. But the Remnant give us a chance worth taking. Right? Right. Every one of you has people in Helios you care about. We need them with us. Not to throw at the Archon. I'll make the Remnant do that. We're fighting for the lives we've built. That only matters if there's someone left to live them. Whew.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Pathfinder, but I have to speak with you. Please meet me on the bridge. All right, I want to thank everyone so much for tuning in to this episode. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.